Hello everybody, Chuck here again. I wanted to do a video to show you how you could improve the accuracy of your of your cheap gimbal. Um, these are particularly the um, the base cam electronics gimbals, the 8 bits that only have one IMU that um, is mounted on the um, bottom of the camera mount and these do not have a second IMU that they can use to um, compare um, the signals um, or com you know to compare the position so that they can uh, accurately uh, position the um, gimbal to uh, stabilize the picture so so this is um, an example using the the Arducopter um, hardware flight controller and um, I have this flight controller um, set up in my uh, Reptile 500 um, quadcopter here with the with a custom mounted or a custom uh, gimbal mount that I'm using here. And what I'll show you is how to set this up uh, using the APM uh, software and how to uh, use the um, the gimbal software to actually configure this. So uh, let's just uh, quickly uh, take a look at the the UI for the APM software. So on the APM software, you'll have a initial setup tab that will give you some optional setup options here. <laughs> That's kind of redundant, but in any case, if you go under camera gimbal. They give you options for tilt and roll and pan and camera trigger. And what we're going to be using is the uh, tilt and roll outputs. So it's important here to set up the um, RC10 as your tilt and RC11 as your roll. And go ahead and click the stabilize tilt buttons for each of these. And I just changed my servo limits to 1000 and 2000 for both. Um, after looking at the um, simple BGC um, or the base cam electronics user manual and on my particular uh, model or drone I have my uh, gimbal set up so that I can go 90 degrees uh, down straight down and I can go 45 degrees up so I've just changed that on the angle limits but I've also but I've just left the angle limits for 45 degrees on the roll axis so once you have that set up on your flight controller, you can now go to your simple BGC software for your gimbal. So in this software, um, there's a few setups you want to want to make. So first of all, let me go to the RC settings tab. So it's important here to take a look at uh, the RC input mapping. So they give you some options for flight controller roll and flight controller pitch. And you want to change those options to be external roll PWM and uh, external pitch uh, PWM. By default, what's going to happen is, um, on mine at least, the yaw setup was actually set up to be my external pitch and it was conflicting so it's grayed out because I only have a two axis gimbal so if this is if yaw is not set to no input you're gonna to have to change this and the way you change that is to go into the advanced settings and go ahead and turn on the um, the motor outputs for yaw and then once you turn that on to um, yaw external board it will allow you to now go into the RC settings. Uh, let me just do that for you real quick just to show you. If you change the yaw to yaw external board and you um, write this to your your gimbal, I'm not going to do it right now, but it'll turn on this option for yaw and then you can change it to no input. So I've had to do that, change it to no input and then it would allow me to 
um, correctly set the external roll and external pitch. And once you've done that, um, you want to go ahead and connect. And you only need a single wire for this. So I'm going to show you the um, flight controller. Uh, let's zoom in on it here. And what you have here is if you look at the uh, forward arrow on the flight controller, you want to start counting from the back of the flight controller. So if you, they're going to start with, with uh, zero. So you go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So ten and eleven are the ones you want to use. And I happen to have this servo cable on eleven. And you really don't need to have all three cables. In fact, I would recommend to just use a single cable. So plug a single cable into the signal port of 10 and 11. So I can't really show you that on my quadcopter, but what I can show you is on the side of my board. Now let's let this focus in here. See if it'll focus. I have plugged in a cable here and I have the red and the black. The red is for my roll axis and the black is for my um, tilt axis. And those are connected and I'll show you a picture of uh, the back of my board here. On my board I actually have um, flight controller roll and flight controller pitch and you only want to plug a single wire into the signal port of, of those uh, plugs there so that's what I have on my flight con or my um, gimbal controller board here so I have my um, red for roll and black for pitch so once I have those connected up I can now go back to the simple BGC software and click into the real-time data tab and on the real-time data tab you're going to see the external flight controller roll and external flight control pitch start to display some data and as you rock your quadcopter you'll see those values change so we got the pitch changing here and the roll changing on the roll so those are the values that the fly controller is now sending to the gimbal controller so now we'll have two IMUs running here one that's in the fly controller and the one that's on the gimbal the last step you'll need to do is If you go back to the basic tab, there's an option for the external flight controller gain. And if you hit the auto button and start rolling your quadcopter around on all axes for about a minute and then hit the auto button again, it'll automatically determine what those uh, gain settings are. And so in my case, it automatically set the roll to 38 and the pitch to 59. So that's how you would um, improve the accuracy of your two-axis cheap gimbal. In this case, it's a base cam electronics 8-bit uh, gimbal um, with a single IMU. So hopefully that's uh, helpful to some people. And uh, thanks a lot for watching.